In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save a section in Divi. So here I have my WordPress website with Divi. This is one of Divi's pre-made uh, layouts. And one of the cool features about Divi is that you can save different elements so you can use them in other parts of your website. So let's enable the visual builder. And let's say we want to reuse this testimonial section in other pages of this website. So what we can do is to save it to the library. And this is something that you can do with sections, rows, and modules. So what you're looking for is this icon here. So as you can see, it's present on the section here on the row and same on the module. And as you can see, it says save module to library. So let's click on it in the section. And the first thing you need to do is to add a name. So let's call it Ceremonials Section. And you can save it to the DB Cloud if you will, if you are using it. And that's very helpful if you are using an element in different websites. And also you can save it as a global element, which I will show you in a few minutes. Also, you can add categories or tags if you are saving a ton of elements. Probably that, that would be helpful. So let's click on Save to Library. And now I'm going to exit the builder. I have this new page, which is a blank page. So enable the builder. Click Build from Scratch. And here I'm going to add a new section. And as you can see, we have the option to add a new section, or we have this tab, Add from Library. So here is the testimonial section that save, I saved from the uh, from the page I was showing you. So let's click on it, and now click Use this section. And here it is. This is the same section. Uh, we save in the other page. So I'm going to save these changes. So I was telling you that, well, you can do the same with all the elements. As you can see, you can save a row or even a module. So this is something that you can do with all elements in Divi. And every element has the option to save, save it as a global element. So a global element, it's a different type of element that you can add in different parts of your website. And if you modify one of those elements, it will modify everywhere. So let's, let me show you. So now I'm going to change this to a global element. So turn on that, save it to the library. Oh, we need to add a new name. So in this case, I'm going to just call it Stimonials Global. Save it to the library. And the first thing you can notice, of course, is that everything now has turned in this kind of lemon color. And because what I said it was the section, everything inside of the section becomes a global element. So in this case, let me exit the builder. Oh. Let's save these changes. Let's go back to the home page. Enable the builder. And from here, I'm going to add this new global section. So click on Add from Library. Here it is. As you can see, this is the first section that we save. It's a normal section, a normal element. But here we have a global uh, element and of course you can tell it is global because of the globe icon so let's insert this here it is it's the same that we were seeing before so what i'm going to do is to change the background of this section so let's go to the section settings and uh, let's i don't know leave it there okay so now i'm going to save the changes Exit the builder and let's go back 
to the page where we have this, this section. And as you can see, it has the same background as that we set in other page. So those are that's how global elements works. So if you have an element that you want to look exactly the same everywhere that it's placed, uh, global elements are a great way to do that. And you, you, if you make a change to that element, you don't need to go element by element making those changes. Uh, another way to access your elements uh, beans that you have saved is coming to the to the dashboard to the admin come to the dv dv options menu and here you will see the dv library so if you click on that here we have our testimonials the global section and the normal section and this is where you can use the categorization or the tags if you added some of course, that's very handy if you have many saved elements on your DV website. So that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.